She's coming. I seen her with my own eyes. Mucky Muck, the most famous adventurer in the West. <gasps> Mucky Muck? And she's bringing someone in. Yee-ha! I was built to be wild. Howdy, Sheriff Bentley. I think I got something you want. Stinky Spud, the most wanted scarecrow in the West. Yep. The very same. That's him, all right. Sure as crows is crows. Mm. Oh, you got the wrong scarecrow. I just look like him. I'm, uh, I'm his twin brother. Yep, that's it. Uh, oh, oh, that's rude. You're definitely Stinky Spud. Oh, please, let me go. Sorry, Stinky Spud. The only place you're going is jail. How did you catch the owner at Critter Monkey Muck? Well, Sheriff, I set a trap. I dug a hole real deep and then covered it over. I laid my bait and sat back to wait. Ha oh, ha, yummy. Look at all that scrummy grub just waiting to fill my belly. I just knew Stinky Spud wouldn't be able to resist stuffing his face. Sounds like quite an adventure. Well done, Mucky Muck. Here's your reward. Pleasure doing business with you, Sheriff. Come on, Stinky Spud. It's off to jail for you. Oh. I hope you like beans, because you're going to be eating a lot of them. <laughs> they don't call him Stinky Spud for nothing, huh, kid? No. Oh. 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 Excuse me. I, I want to be like Mucky Muck when I grow up. It's true what they say. She sure was built to be wild. Okay, folks, time to go looking for some more adventure. See y'all. Muck, Muck, you're my hero. Built to be wild! Yeehaw! Earth to Muck? Earth to Muck? Huh? You were miles away. Sorry, I was dreaming about all the adventures I'm gonna have on our vacation. I know, it's really exciting. A dream come true. I can't believe we're going to the Wild West. Cause you know what, Bob? I was built to be wild. <laughs> built to be wild, huh? I suppose you're going to round up cattle and chase bad guys? Yeah, and race through the desert, ride along the railroad, pan for gold, cross raging rivers, and, and it's going to be the biggest adventure ever, ever, ever! We're all going on a cowboy holiday. No more building for a week or two. We'll ride horses on a cowboy holiday. No more fixing for me or you. For, for a week, week or two. We're going where they went gold mining. We're going to a cowboy ranch. We've seen it in the movies. Well, they that my life. Rock and roll. Everybody has a Summer holiday. Doing things they always wanted to. So we're all going on a cowboy holiday to make our dreams come true. For me and you. We're going to learn how to be cowboys. has a summer holiday. Do what things I always wanted to. So we're all going on a cowboy holiday to make our dreams come true. A machine's gotta do what it's gotta do.
the Wild West, folks. It is like in the movies. Look at all the cactus, Lofty. Oh, they're so prickly. So what brought you way out west? I'm looking for adventure, Jackaroo. We've always loved watching cowboy stuff, so when I saw Rio's ad, well, it seemed like just the thing. Well, folks, I sure hope you're gonna have a fine old time learning to be cowboys at the Double R Ranch. Rio's got a whole bunch of fun stuff planned for y'all. Thanks, Jackaroo. We can't wait. Creek? It sure is. Oh, wow. A real old Wild West town. It's just like I imagined. Though it's pretty much a ghost town now. <laughs> ghost, ghost town? town? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> a ghost town just means that folks used to live there, but they don't anymore. So why's that? Well, Roly, when the gold ran out, folks moved on. Oh, that's really sad. So, that's why we started doing cowboy adventure holidays, to get folks coming here again. Rio's hoping she'll be able to get the place all fixed up someday. That's a great idea. Come on, let's mosey on over to the Double R. Yee! Uh, what was it again? Yeehaw! Oh, yeah. Yeehaw! I'll show y'all around. Good boy, Patch. It's okay. These folks are our guests. This is where Rio lives. She'll be along real soon. Great. I can't wait to meet her. Howdy, folks. I'm Rio Rogers, and this here's my horse, Dollar. Hi, Hi Rio. Rio. Hi, Rio. Y'all are more than welcome to the Double R Ranch in Cactus Creek. I was born and raised on the Double R. Learned the ropes from Mile and Paul. Everything a gal could need to know. This is a fine old ranch in a fine old town. Best things spread for miles around. And I'm going to show you folks a real good time. <laughs> Cactus Creek, sure glad you arrived. Cactus Creek, tonight she'll come alive. As long as I'm in Cactus Creek, I have no need to roam. No, no, no. Whoa, that's my home. <laughs> well, it's up with the sun for me and my crew. Ain't nothing around here that we can't do. We're open and a tie the cows till the sun goes down. Someday I'm gonna fix this town up good. I get the whole place looking just the way it should. But for now, I'm gonna show you folks a real good time. And honey, that's real singing. Just a little bit of cowboy humor for you. <laughs> Yeah! Uh, uh, she just threw that rope and caught that cow. This here's Brandy, and she's always escaping. Uh, okay, folks, we need to get your tents pitched and rustle up some wood for the fire. And get Brandy oh. home, too, ma'am. I'll help. I'm Mucky Muck. The cowboy truck. All righty, let's skedaddle. Get along, little donkey. Get along, little donkey. Ah. <laughs> Muck thinks she's in a cowboy movie. But Brandy's a cow, not a doggy. <laughs> doggy, not doggy. It's what they call cows out here in the wild west. Doggy? <laughs> That's a funny word. <laughs> well, Bob. Let's get these tents pitched. Oh, uh, I'll help, Wendy. Thanks, Lofty. 
Uh, Bob? Over here, Wendy. Oh, Bob. You're supposed to be on vacation, remember? No more fixing for a week or two. Sorry, Wendy. I can't help it. There. That's better. Can I fix it? Yes, I can. So, I, I bet you've had lots of adventures, Rio. Oh, I've had a few in my time, honey. Yeah, we've seen stuff that'd make your paint rust. Wow, I knew it. Like what? Oh, oh, tell him about the snake, the one that hypnotized you. <gasps> hypnotized you? Well, let's see now. I was out in the desert one day when I happened upon this snake. Uh, Why, that thing was bigger in a barn. Wow, that's really big. And I tell you, it had a real mean stare. It was swaying from side to side, and I just couldn't help looking at those googly eyes. Next thing I know, I'm trapped in its gaze. <gasps> what happened? Well, it came towards me, and I tried to skedaddle, but I was frozen to the ground. About to be snake lunch. <laughs> well, I figured I was a goner, but Jackaroo arrived in the nick of time. I came a racing over, and I hooked that snake in my winch, and I swung and swung it real hard, and it flew so far it went plumb around the world and landed in the Amazon. <gasps> Where I hear it lives to this day. Jackaroo saved you. He's a hero. I reckon. Aw, uh, oh, shucks. I want to have adventures, too, so people can tell stories about me. I'm not just a dump truck, you know. I was built to be wild. You're looking for adventure? You're coming to the right place. Uh-huh. How does she do that? Good boy, Patch. I reckon that's enough wood. Now, let's see how that tent pitching's going. <whistles> right on, cowboys! Yeah! <laughs> okay, folks. I reckon it's time for y'all to have your first cowboy lesson. Yeah! <laughs> I want to learn how to be just like you and Jackaroo. How exciting. Come on, Bob. Uh, Bob? Just a minute, Wendy. Howdy, folks. I'm Buffalo Bob. Oh, Bob. Well, howdy, doody, Buffalo Bob. You got the whole kit and caboodle. I think you look really cool, Bob. Got my silver plated buckle and my big ten gallon hat. Got my spurs that jingle, jingle. Woo-hoo, how great is that? You may think that I'm a builder, but I'm here to tell the truth. I'm gonna be a cowboy now, a cowboy through and through. Buffalo Bob. <laughs> you may think that I'm a builder, but I'm here to tell the truth. I'm gonna be a cowboy now, a cowboy through. Buffalo Bob. <laughs> Wearing a hat don't make you a cowboy, Buffalo Bob. Oh, I think I've got a lot to learn, Rio. And I'm a going to teach you. Yeah! To be a cowboy, you need to be able to do two things: throw a rope and ride a horse. Yes, sirree. Come on, let's go. Good horsey. 
Honey, there's a lot more to riding a horse than just sitting in the saddle and letting your legs hang down. How do I make her move? Like this. Giddy up! Go, Bob! Go! Rock and ride! Maybe I'll stick to riding machines. <laughs> you just gotta keep getting back on. You know, my great-great-granddaddy could ride anything. They say he once even rode a tornado. A tornado? Is that a really big horse? No, it's a wind that's real mad. And it twists and it turns and it flattens everything in its path. Wow! And he rode the wind? <laughs> yep. He just took a saddle and jumped right on. And I'll tell you, that tornado, it tried to toss him into the next county. Did your great great whatchamacallit stay on? Yep, until that tornado gave in and turned into a gentle breeze. And that was how rodeo began. Wow. What's next? What's next? Dang it. I left the rope back at the ranch, and I can't teach you to throw without it. Muck, to the rescue! I'll get it, Rio! Thanks, Muck. Alrighty, I'll show you the way. I'll help, too! Jump on, partner! Yeehaw! Built to be wow! Rio's great-great-granddaddy sounds really cool. I, I bet he had lots of adventures. He sure did. He was the one that first struck gold in Cactus Creek. Wow, so where is the gold mine? In the old town. Hey, you want to see it? Of course. I'm built to be wild, remember? <laughs> this is the old mine, y'all. Wow, a real gold mine. But the gold's all gone, isn't it? Yep, every last bit. Have you ever been inside? Nah, it closed down long ago. Come on, I'll show you the old town too. It's just over there. Wow, I feel like I'm in the movies. You see the symbol up there, above the door? Oh, yeah! It's a double R! That's right! It's a family symbol! Rio's great-great-granddaddy, Rusty Rogers, used to live there. I bet it was really exciting here in the old days. Yeah, strangers riding into town, showdowns outside the saloon. <gasps> What's that? Maybe it's gold! Hot oh, diggity dog! It's an old sheriff's badge! Howdy! I'm Sheriff Spud. Mm -hmm. I've got my hat and my badge. Now I just need a horse. Ha ha ha! Here, boy, a, a good horsey. It's okay, Patch. I'll be your horse, Sheriff Spud. Yeehaw! If you climb into that saddle. You better be prepared to ride. Sheriff Spud's on the job. Giddy up, horsey. Crazy horse. Hey, guys, I think we better be heading back now. Oh, I'm digging a dog, Brandy. You made me jump. Uh-oh, Brandy's escaped again. Don't worry. Sheriff Spud will rope up.
Jackaroo told us you've got big plans for the old town. Yes, sirree. It's my dream to get folks living in Cactus Creek again. You know, someday I'd love to turn the saloon into a hotel and get them stores open. I'm really looking forward to seeing the old place. Y'all want to go now while we're waiting for Muck and Jackaroo? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. So clumsy! What are we gonna do? This place means everything to me. It's all flat! <gasps> what in tarnation happened here? It was an accident, ma'am. Brandy escaped again, and we tried to catch her, and I, I bumped into the old saloon, and suddenly everything just fell down. I just don't believe what I'm seeing. What would my great-great-granddaddy say? His town is in ruins. I'm really, really sorry, Rio. It's not your fault. You were just trying to help. This wood is very old. Look, it's all rotten. Don't worry, Rio. I know how much this place means to you. It's a good thing I've got the best building team in the world. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Can ya? Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll soon have it as good as new, Rio. I promise. Oh, everything's gonna get fixed up. It's what I always dreamed of. Why, y'all are the nicest folks I ever did meet. Situations desperate, your building's falling down. You need a team to sort things out. We're the best in town. We've got the knack. We can put it all back. Yes, ma'am. We'll chase your worries away. We can fix it up. We can make it good. Yeah, that's what we do. We can fix it up. We're gonna take it on. Just we're about It sure is. And I reckon it's time I made you all some supper. Let's get that campfire lit. <gasps> what was that? Just a coyote, or little wolf, as we call him. Don't worry, he won't hurt you none. Oh, I didn't know beans could taste so yummy. Thanks, Rio. My pleasure, honey. Yes, they're delicious. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh, better out than in. Not from where I'm sitting, honey. Whew. Yeah, that's really stinky, Spud. Oh, for Pete's sake, cheer up, Muck. It was an accident, honey. Quit being so hard on yourself. Now, how about I sing you a song? Oh, yeah. What about an adventure? Well, let's see. How about I tell you how my old great-great-granddaddy discovered this place and first struck gold? Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Rusty Rogers was an old-time cowboy born to ride the range. His horse is sole companion and his friend. Well, he worked that land round the double line Till the sun sank in the sky And 
he had them doggies safely roped and penned. And out one day on a search for strays and drinking from a stream, he filled his hat with water and found the answer to all his dreams. I struck gold. There was a gold fever. And they hammered his claim into the ground. It was gold fever. With folks appearing from miles around. They had gold fever. And pretty soon it was a one big boom in town. The gold mine opened up a roaring train where once there had been none. And Rusty was a hero now to everyone. Now folks would find a time for him and hail him across the street. Rusty Rogers' roundup was complete. Oh, oh yeah, wow. rock, rock and, and roll. roll! Oh, happy days. And then what happened? Eventually, the gold ran out, and folks left just as quick as they'd come. But legend has it that my great-great-granddaddy stashed away some of the gold. Really? Yep. But he never told anyone where it was. So it's still hidden somewhere? Maybe. Okay, folks, time to hit the hay. Cowboys get up with the sun. Builders do, too. Can't you tell us some more stories, please, Real? I will. Tomorrow night, honey. I promise. But there ain't nothing I like better than sitting around the campfire telling the legends of Cactus Creek. Night, y'all. Night. Night, night. night, night. Don't let the snakes bite. Snakes? Just a little cowboy humor. <laughs> Rise and shine. Come on, come alive. Yeah. Come alive. Yeah. Rubs up, get your hides out of bed, and greet the dog. Okay, team. Time to get building. Me and Jackaroo are heading off to get some materials for you. Yep, we're driving out across the desert to the next town. <gasps> that sounds like an adventure. Oh, please, can I come with you? You might meet a snake and need rescuing by a brave truck. <laughs> well, I guess I could use the extra help to carry stuff. What do you reckon, Bob? Um, okay, Muck. I suppose we can manage without you for a while. Then we won't have to worry about her demolishing anything. It was an accident, Scoop. He's only teasing your muck. Well, there's no need to keep bringing it up. Can I go too, please, Bob? Yes. Sheriff Spot's on the job, Bob. But make sure you both stay out of trouble this time. Let's hit the trail. And drive like the wind. yee Well, team, there's a lot to do. We need to save these old buildings. They're part of Wild West history. And we need to make them stronger. So they'll last for years to come. Uh, Bob, I'm stuck. Stuck in a rut. It was probably made by an old wagon. <gasps> ah. Can you and Rolly fill in the holes and flatten them? Yeah, rock and roll. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, honey? I really want to have an adventure while I'm here, because when we're back home, we're always building. No kidding. So, I was hoping you could just tell me how to have an adventure. You've had so many. Well, Muck, I'll make you a deal. I'll take you on an adventure when the street is all fixed up, okay? Deal! Yee-haw! I'm gonna have an adventure! Now, this here bridge is pretty old, so you all take it nice and slow as you go across. You don't 
don't want to go falling in that creek. I hear there's alligators down there. Alligators? Yeah. So make it snappy. <laughs> Just a little bit more cowboy humor. <laughs> uh, I think I'll walk over. Be careful now. Oh, boy, really high up. Oh, oh, let's see. Cut it through. Whoa. <laughs> Don't panic. Just take it slow. Don't leave me. So. The bridge isn't, though. We'll have to fix that, too. Good thing there's another way back. Come on, we best ski now. Let's hit the trail. Bob the Builder, the fastest driller in the West. Built to be wild! Whip, crack away! Hot diggity dog! yippee yeah, okay! Okay, Lofty, you can lift it up now. That's it. Easy does it. Hold it steady now, Scoop. Got it, Bob! Jackrabbits! Hoo-wee! This is looking great! Thanks, Rio. It's good to be building again. You were gone a long time. <laughs> and that's a long story. Yeah, I, I had an adventure, Bob. Yeah, we had to go over an old bridge that must have been there for hundreds of years, and it creaked and groaned, and then it just snapped right away! And I was left hanging over a creek full of snapping agulators! Agulators? What's an aggulator? <laughs> he means alligator! <laughs> Goodness me! Yeah, it was really scary, but nothing Sheriff Spud couldn't handle. Well, at least you're all safe, and I've got a special job for you, Muck. Great! What is it? I want you to go over to that old barn, check if it's safe, then clear it out. Oh! Isn't there something more exciting I can do here? Not really. Everything's under control. But... Hey, I'll come and help you, Muck. Yeah! And me, partner. It'll be fun. Oh, well, okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna fix this all some vittles. Some what? L U N unch, honey. Hmm, I don't think these walls are rotten. Hey, come on, let's look inside. Oh, diggity dog, it's an old wagon. I bet Rio could use this. I'm gonna take it back to the ranch. Okay, Jackaroo. Now, what else is in there? Just a load of old junk. Then let's get it cleared up. Grubs up, fill your bellies. You can't do nothing if you're running on empty. Thanks, Rio. I'm starving. Can you tell us 
another story, please, real, please. Ain't you had enough of my John by now? Come on, I love this story, story more. Please. please. Oh, all right. Well, did I tell you about the time I found myself up a tree with a grizzly bear? <gasps> Rio telling another adventure story. You carry on, Spud. I'm gonna clear up out here so I can hear what she's saying. Well, I taken some honey from these bees, and I tell you, they was mad as wet hens. They chased after me, and I must have ran and ran for nigh on two days without ever stopping. Well then, I come to a big river, and I dived right in and just held my breath. You see. Bees don't much like water. Really? Yep. Trust me. I know bees, honey. Bees, honey. <laughs> Just a little bit more cowboy humor. <laughs> Back to the story. So I held my breath for what must have been an hour. And then bees gave up, turned tail, and went back the way they come. Phew. Yeah, but they could have really stung you. Mark! 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 Come and look! The ground just opened up! Shush, bud! I'm listening to Rio's adventure! But this is better than a story! Shush! Ha! Huh. Well, Spud's going to investigate! So, what did you do next? Well, after all that, I was plum tuckered out, so I climbed up a tree to grab me 40 winks. The next thing I knowed, I was woke up by a low growl, and I could feel hot breath on my neck. <gasps> the bear. Wow! Mark! There's a great big tunnel! Come and look! It's really amazing! Shush, bud! It's getting really exciting. A quivering with fear, I opened my eyes, and a great big grizzly bear was staring right back at me. Every adventurer knows you don't want to be stuck up a tree with a bear. Well, I figured he might be hungry, so I reached under my hat, pulled out the honeycomb, and gave it to him with a smile. Bears have got a real sweet tooth, you know. And while he was stuffing himself, I slid down the tree and ran like the wind. Phew. Oh, that was a really cool adventure. Hey, Spud, did you hear what happened? Oh, I wonder what this does. helping Bob and Wendy now. You'll have to wait. I know, I know. But let's ask Muck to tell us about the bridge falling down and how we rescued Spud. Oh, that's a good idea, Rolly. Come on! Uh, oh, oh, that was brilliant fun. Just like a roller coaster. Yeah, that was wild. What happened? Oh, 
I just leant on this lever and went flying. That was the brakes, bud. Whoops. Where are we? I think this must be the old gold mine. Well, we won't be going back that way. But we have to. Rio promised to take me on an adventure. Oh, I don't know, Muck. It's really steep. Oh, I can't believe I'm stuck down an old mine. Ooh, I'm never going to have an adventure now. Um, does anyone know where Muck is? She was working on the old barn with Spud. They're not there now. You want me to go and look for them? No, they can't get into much trouble around here. Help! 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 Oh, no one can hear you, Muck. <sighs> what are we gonna do? Oh, look! An arrow! Where? Here. Arrows are meant to be followed. I'll bet it shows us the way out. Come on, then. Let's go. Here's another one. Terrific! I bet the way out's just around the corner. Uh-oh, dead end. What do we do now? The arrow points this way. But we can't go any further. These rocks must have fallen and blocked the way. Oh, well, in that case, you can just shift them. I suppose so. Muck to the rescue. Can you give me a hand with the saloon doors, Wendy? Sure thing, partner. Thank you, ma'am. I'll just give them a smidgen of oil. Good job. <laughs> you two are quite a team. We sure are, aren't we, Bob? Uh, Bob? Look out, Cactus Creek. Bob the Builder's in town. <laughs> Gee willikers, where did he learn that? <laughs> We're gonna show you folks the way it's done Before the day is through And while we're working we'll be having fun with everything we do But we won't be happy Till we've seen the whole job through We're the cowboy builders Yes, sirree We can mix it, fix it, nail it down and paint it You'll see They're the cowboy builders Yes, sirree We can dig it, kill it, roll it Just the way it's meant to be The cowboy builders We build them bigger, we can build them small In every shape and size From floor to ceiling and from wall to wall Right, right before your, your eyes. eyes And we won't be happy till we see the whole job through We're the cowboy builders, yes sirree We can mix it, fix it, nail it down and paint it You'll see, we're the cowboy builders we guarantee we can dig it, fill it, roll it just the way it's meant to be. The cowboy builders. Ha <laughs> ha! That was fun, y'all. Oh yeah, brilliant! Muck will be sorry she missed that. She likes a good song. Uh yeah, I wonder where she is. <coughs> Of course, it's a bit dusty. <coughs> <coughs> Nearly there. <coughs> Good work, Muck. <laughs> Put your oh. scarf over your face, bud. Come on, let's go. I gotta get back. Just look for the arrow. Oh, that's no use. It points up to the roof. Someone must have moved it. Now what do we do? <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you okay, Spud? Yeah. What's that up there? Dunno. Looks like a... Oh! Hey. <coughs> Are you okay, Muck? I will be in a minute. Oh, why do I keep having accidents? I flattened a town, destroyed a bridge, now I 
I've been clunked on the head. <laughs> Sounds quite excited when you say it like that. What is that thing anyway? It looks like the bag they use on a horse's saddle. Oh, yeah. Someone must have used it to stuff up that hole. Let's take it for Dollar. Good idea, Spud. Rio will like that. So, which way shall we? Uh, 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 <laughs> go. <gasps> Aha! This way! Come on! That's it, team. Finished. Hot diggity dog! Yeah! That's a mighty fine job. You all have made me the happiest cowgirl in the West. Brandy! Don't worry, Rio. We'll catch her. Look, Muck, it's getting lighter. We must be nearly there. Phew, I was beginning to think we'd never see daylight again. Uh-oh. Oh, now what? Um, uh, nothing. A fearless adventurer like you can't sort. <laughs> Job, cowboy. Yeah. Run! <laughs> Mark. Spud, what's going on? Well, Spud was in the barn and suddenly the ground just opened up. And there was this tunnel with a railroad track and all I could hear was Spud yelling, so I had to go and rescue him. That's really brave. Yeah, and then the tunnel was blocked with rocks, then part of the roof fell in. And I got hit on the head and got chased by a huge rolling rock and... Wow, it's finished. You've rebuilt Cactus Creek. Yep, done and dusted. And ain't it just the grandest job you ever did see? I reckon. So, can we go on our adventure now, Rio? What do you mean? We had a deal, remember? Are you kidding? After everything you've been through today... Huh? Well, first you pulled Spud out of the creek. Found a secret entrance. Went racing down a train track on a rescue mission. Got stuck in an old mine shaft. Oh, uh, got hit on the head? Yeah, then you got chased by a big rolling rock. Yeah, but... Honey, you don't need to go looking for adventure. Adventure come a-looking for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose I am an adventurer. <laughs> oh, I've got something for you, Dollar. What? I'd recognize that double R anywhere. This must have belonged to someone in my family. If that don't beat all, you found the hidden gold, Muck. What? You struck gold. I did. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was cool. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I think the gold struck you, really, when it fell on your head. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to call you Lucky Muck. Well done, Muck. You had your adventure after all. Yes, Bob, and I didn't even know it was happening. Hey, Rio, you'll be able to use the gold to do up Cactus Creek, just like you always wanted. Yeah! My dream's going to come true. You do realize you'll become part of the legends of Cactus Creek. Me? A legend? You mean, you'll tell stories about me around the campfire? Sure, honey. Everyone's going to want to hear the legend of Lucky Muck. The truck that was struck by gold. It's time to celebrate, y'all. We're going to kick up our heels, put on our best bib and tucker, and have us the biggest shit dick this town has ever seen. Yeah!
whole wide west in a cloud of dust. A truck with action on her mind. Looking for adventure or bust. And pretty soon she's gonna find. She's sweating the town like a one man wrecking crew. Now it hangs in space Saving spud from a sticky hand Then down the old mine for a flat out chase On her way to save her friend For a moment there it must have seemed like touch and go 